Okay. Agenda item number four, Lowndes County. The next case is the Lowndes County case. Uh, the Lowndes County case will be heard November the 13th at, your, at the County Commission Chambers. Agenda item number four, case number REZ 2012-16. Staff, you ready for your presentation? Yes, sir. The first case that we have is a two-acre piece of property in the southwestern corner of Cat Creek Road and Georgia Highway 122 East, currently in zone EA or state agriculture. And what they're seeking to do is some kind of commercial redevelopment on the property, most notably in the store that's on the corner of the northeastern part of the property. With that, staff has worked with the uh, owners and agents to come up with a zone that we felt like was appropriate here, and we did do that. Felt like Crop Cooks Commercial, which is what they're requesting, would be appropriate. You can see the recommendation from staff within your packet as approval without conditions. The only update that I do have for the commission at this time is I did hear from a uh, surrounding landowner, a resident, uh, about this case and uh, their specific concerns related to uses that would prohibit the sale or consumption of alcohol. Uh, and so I did do some detailed homework on that, should you choose to delve into that further, but that's the only update I have for the commission on this case since the work session. Okay. Are there any questions for staff from the commissioners? Okay. Ms. Willis. Well, I think the only way if the commission chose to address it would be to limit the uses that will be allowed. Um, there are three uses that I think are allowed in CC zoning that maybe have the opportunity for alcohol. And we know that even if alcohol is allowed, it still has to go through a vetting process in front of the county commission. Mm -hmm. But a package store or a convenience store as a part of a gas station with or without that gas station or a restaurant are allowed in uses in CC zoning. So those are the ones that we flagged as potential for alcohol involvement. Um, so the only way I know, I think, to if you were to address that, to recommend that, you're going to limit those uses. I don't know if I would recommend attacking the alcohol in specifics. I don't, I don't know about that line of thinking. Do you know what actually doing there? Sir, I would say that the uses that we've been presented with as staff, um, Ms. Carmel and all, are mostly retail based, uh, retail or restaurant based. And is that fair? Okay, are there any other, any other questions for staff? Mr. Page, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Davenport, yes, sir. isn't there a stipulation of how far some establishment has to be that serves alcohol away from a church or a school? Because there is a church very close to this property. Yes, sir, there is. Um, the code enforcement will um, go out and I believe measure that as a part. Um, Looking at the survey, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I, I don't know uh, by heart that distance. I do know that they measure it from door to door. So it's not necessarily just because you're located next to a church doesn't necessarily mean you wouldn't be able to serve alcohol or sell alcohol. Um, but I show it as at least, you know, probably about 500 feet away. I just don't know that distance from door to enforcement that they, that they check to say this is too far too close. Well, this property includes an old store that's, I think, since been closed in the mobile home section, mm -hmm. which if you even look at the aerial photograph, and I'm familiar with this because it's not far from where I live, passed it many times. Uh, it borders right there next to the church, mm -hmm. and the property goes right very close to the building. Yes, that's sir. the only concern that I have, you know, depending on where, how this property is going to be developed mm -hmm. for determining door to door, as you say. Yes, sir. Um, and I see that I see that house on the very southwestern corner, as opposed to the commercial building on the northeastern corner. The proposals that we've received have been aimed at that northeastern building. Um, 
I have not known a proposal for the southwestern part of the house, but this commercial zoning would allow for use of that. Um, so that's that's a good point because that house is much closer to the church than the, the network. I'm sorry, I just don't know that this is offhand to code enforcement checks. I know it's a radius, I mean, it's a measure from door to door, but I don't know. Any other questions for staff from the commission? Okay. Hearing none, is there anyone?